There is a place where you can be naked, but you are not ashamed. I have found a place where I can pour my heart. I have found a place where I can be myself. A place where I can have no secret to hide. A place where I am still safe. I'm tired of all. I have found a place where I can pour my heart. I have found a place where I can be myself. A place where I can have no secret to hide. A place where I am still safe and tiring all. And with you, Lord, I can be naked and not ashamed. With you, Lord, I can be open and have no fear. For I found in you a friend that I can trust. This why you will grieve in my grave. Found a place where you can find true love. I have found a place. I have, I have found a place where I can find true love. I have found a place. I have found a place where I can be valued. A place where. A place where my mistakes don't become my end. A place where. I have found a place where I can find true love. I have found a place where I can be valued. A place where my mistakes don't become my end. A place where
hands, lift those hands. Oh, he's listening to you.
upon God. Father, regard your servant. I ask that you anoint him afresh. Father, fresh strength, fresh energy like never before. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Hallelujah. Again, pick your phones. Put a call through to your friends. Send them the links. Let them know that something is happening here tonight. With Jesus' joy, put your hands together for Jesus. As welcome the praise team. Somebody excited, ready for an encounter. Give the Lord a shout. Increase. I am lost in your love. Your mercy is your and forever. Jehovah, I don't know. This is my season of increase. I am lost in your love. Your mercy is your and forever. Jehovah, I don't know. You know the blame. You know the blame. You the bless me, my life not be the same. You know the blame, you know the blame. You do the bless me, bless me, bless me. My life not be the same. Your love I am going to be there. I am going
Commanding the day of midnight prayer, breaking the spell of delay, barrenness, and fruitlessness. And tonight, God is greeting to you in Jesus' mighty name. Let's look at some testimonies we have tonight. Quickly, we have testimony from Christian Anthony from Niaya, Nasarawa State. Good morning, brethren. I want to thank God for all he has done for me. I've been praying to God to give my father a promotion in his office to deliver my cousin from gambling and change his life. I prayed sometimes about it in the personal supplication and on my own. In one of the nights, Dr. Pastor Paul Emeta mentioned his case about addiction to gambling. Though I can't state exactly how it was declared. I just want to thank God because about two weeks after the declaration, my cousin called me to inform me that he has given his life to Christ. And God has delivered him from the spirit of gambling. To crown it all, God has also given my father a promotion in his place of work. I have come to testify and give glory to God. To him alone be all the praise forever. Amen. Put your hands together for the Lord. Mighty, mighty testimony. We have testimony from Mrs. Rahila and Kama from Meduguri. Good morning to this great team and family of commanding the day prayer. I want to sincerely appreciate God for using his servants to ignite my faith in the Lord through prayers. I joined commanding the day prayer around first week of January and since then. God has shown his face in, in a mighty way in my life. First of all, I am separated from my husband and the truth behind the issue was eating from, my, from many, including his relatives. But God Almighty used his own siblings to vindicate me during their mother's burial, which gave me some relief. And I still trust God for total restoration of my marriage. My marriage. Secondly, I became a landlady around first week of February, which I never saw coming. How it happened till today, I'm still in awe. 
because when I was approaching, when I was approached, when I was approached, when I was approached regarding the property, I didn't have more than 300,000 naira in my bank account. But God worked it out in his own way. And today, I am a landlady. Indeed, God has put my mockers to shame. Those who always say I have nothing to show for my hard work. For my hard work. Thirdly, I have been out of job for quite some time now. And I've been surviving on my small business. But from January till now, I have received two solid jobs that I'm doing as a nurse. And just last week, I received a verbal job offer from a, from a CMD of a newly created national orthopedic hospital, asking me to choose the grade level that will make me willingly accept the offer as an orthopedic nurse. Indeed, whosoever that puts his trust in the Lord will not be disappointed. For one with God is the majority. Glory! I will soon return with more testimonies because I know God hasn't started with me yet. To him alone be all the praise. Hallelujah. Testimony from D.O. United Kingdom. Good morning to this great family and the commanding the Demina team. God has finally remembered me and brought great joy to our family. I have been a nurse from Nigeria for six years. I applied for NMC registration since 2021 via the sites, but was delayed. And at some point, when all hope was lost, my case was mentioned about the release of license repeatedly for about a few days. After all manner of delays, a 35-day waiting period was set from January to February 29, 2024. I missed multiple calls to the registering body. Then suddenly, on Monday the 4th of March 2024, my, my pin to practice as a nurse in the UK was released after three long years of waiting by the power of God through repeated declarations. We give all the glory to God. Hallelujah. God be praised. And may his name alone be lifted forever. Give him the praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Mighty God. Glory to Jesus. Testimony from Sister Caroline W. Praise God, brethren. I thank the, God, the Lord for his love, faithfulness, goodness, mercies, and for what he's doing through the Command of the prayer platform. I've been part of the Command of the prayer since January 2024. On the 2nd of February, my word came through God's servant, and he said, God is blessing a trade in precious materials, whether it is gold or diamond. You have pursued it for a long time. It has never seen the light of day. You're, you are genuine in what you do, but because there is a lot of fake deals, you have never been able to break through. But I'm anointed to announce to you right now, Jehovah is breathing upon that deal, and you are coming back to testify. I received the word with an open heart and said a loud amen. Yes, I've been pursuing deals in gold trade. Got high end clients. We went even to the point of signing sale purchase agreements. Then while waiting for transfer of payments, I would have these evil demonic dreams. Seeing myself homeless in my former school, in my former house, or with former school friends. The clients would then say they are not convinced the deal is genuine and would, and would back off. The devil is a liar. I thank God for his deliverance. After the declaration, I just got another deal which is in process and believe God for its full manifestation in Jesus' name. I will be back to testify tight and plant seeds. Another word came for me on the 4th of March when God said, the spirit, the serpentine spirit, serpentine devil that is behind that oppression and in, in your father's altar, I set both of them on fire. Spirit husband, I set you on fire. If you're in that, if you're in this category, I won't mention the name, so nobody will say I talk about you, but, but you know yourself. Tongues, tongues of fire by, by God's servant. Someone has an A-N-G inside the names. Eleo, that is my middle name, which is Wangui. Wow. Wow. Wangui. Yes, the yoke of antimarital spell is broken. Amen. I thank the Lord for delivering me from spirit husbands. The Lord revealed their, their faces. I saw two people that I know on different occasions. And ever since that time, after intensive prayers during the command of the day, prayer and healing and deliverance service, they went forever. I thank the Lord for marital settlement. I know it is settled in heaven. Amen. To God be all the glory. Amen. Pictures, 
and video is attached. And the previous deal and the current deal. Yes, sir. The current deal is confirmed in Jesus' name. Amen. God is blessing the precious, the trade in precious materials. Whether it is gold or it's diamond, you have pursued it for a long time. It has never seen the light of day. You are genuine in what you are doing. But because there is a lot of fake deals, they, you have never been able to break through. But I am anointed to announce to you now, Jehovah is breathing upon that trade, and you are returning back in a matter of days to testify that you have made a deal, either the first deal or the, fe or the, or the only deal in a very long time. Receive it now. In the name of Jesus, the devil has still kept you stranded. And the devil is fighting, fighting your marital destiny, fighting your fruitfulness destiny. I have a mantle here now to declare to you, the fight is over. That devil will not render your life useless. He will not render your life useless. He will not render your life useless. He will not render your life useless. Your life useless. I declare establishment in life, establishment maritally, establishment fruitful wise. And then I see the spirit, the serpentine devil that is behind that oppression and a father's house altar. I set both of them on fire, spirit husband. I set you on fire. Many are in this category, but I won't mention the names so that nobody say they talk about you. But you know yourself. Someone has an A and an, a, and an N and a G inside the names. Leco parata kasegalago, leke perota saka kalanegado. Everyone, everywhere you are watching, with the spell, anti-marital spell, the spirit of barrenness, the spirit of barrenness, anti-marital spell, marital failure. I declare that yoke is broken. Go ahead and give the Lord a praise. Be upstanding and let us celebrate the King of Kings. Celebrate the King of Kings. and a shout of praise hallelujah you may be comfortably seated in the name of jesus what a mighty god we serve amazing amazing testimonies i believe that yours shall be the very next one that shall be shared on this altar in the name of jesus we'll go right ahead and take a look at other testimonies right away please wake up your friends your loved ones let them know that the prayer is on let them be a part of it in jesus name 
testimony from Mr. and Mrs. A.I. from South Africa. They say, brethren, Jehovah overdue, mega do, giga do, has done it again. God in this commission is more real than reality. Hey! His wife and himself had been joining the commanding the day midnight prayers and trusting the Lord for the fruit of the womb. In one of the commanding the day midnight prayers, Pastor Paul Enenche said, you have been pregnant and you are not aware. Go to the hospital and check it. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> Praise the Lord. They received it and bam, pregnancy landed with a job alongside for his wife, Kai. They have come to return all the glory to God and pray that the prayers, prayer answering God on this altar will sustain this pregnancy to term and give them a set of twins, two identical girls. Oh, really? Okay. As your heart's desire, so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's look at the declarations. As a woman trusting God for the fruit of the womb, already go and check yourself because you have taken it without your notice. You have you are, you are already taken it without your notice. Check yourself immediately, and you will confirm that your pregnancy already happened. Hey! hey! And everyone trusting God for the fruit of the womb, that your barrenness is broken. Amen. Go forth and bring forth your children. Hallelujah, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Same word applies to somebody else here today in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's take a look at another one. Testimony from Mrs. George, Georgina from the United Kingdom says, above all, above all, okay, above only greetings, brethren. She has come to return all the glory to God Almighty. Two days ago, God placed her case in the mouth of his servant. Pastor mentioned her place of work, Cornerstone. He said he heard the name Cornerstone and he's wondering if it is the name of a person or a company or an organization or an institution and what the enemy has done against what that name represents tonight has been reversed. The agenda of that cloud of darkness, that cloud of evil, that cloud of depression of sorrow around that entity, he declares it has just been eliminated right now. Hey! She shouted a big amen and blasted in tongues. She was in total shock because everything he said was accurate. Her first week at work, she was always excited to go to work to the extent that one of her colleagues who had been there longer, asked why she's so happy. And she added, don't worry, the happiness won't last. Ah, ah, cancelled. She didn't understand what she meant until after a few months. It's a lovely place to work, but the environment is full of toxicity and depression. They are always recruiting because workers don't last. But after this declaration, she knows that everything has turned around for her good. She returns all the glory to God Almighty and shall return with many testimonies in Jesus' name. The declaration is attached. I heard, I heard cornerstone. And I'm wondering if that is the name of a person or the name of a company or an organization or an institution. And what the enemy has done against what that name represents tonight has been reversed. The agenda of, of, of that cloud of darkness, that cloud of evil, that cloud of depression, of sorrow around that set, around that entity, I declare it is just eliminated right now. And that name shall answer to his name, standing out like a city set on a hill that cannot be healed. And I prophesy upon everyone here, every cloud of depression, cloud of sorrow, cloud of uncertainty, cloud of, of failure, the enemy has cast upon you. I declare dissolved now. Hey, wow. how accurate, how accurate. Go ahead, sir. In the name of Jesus, today, the agenda of the enemy against anyone's life or organization here is terminated in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Brother Patrick from Abuja, Nigeria says, 
Hey, Jesus is walking. And his word came instantly. While they were about taking the PowerPoint number two, the Lord revealed his case to the man of God and he addressed it immediately. And exactly as it was, the migraine came suddenly with a sharp pain on his right eye to the right side of his head. He was even thinking of stopping, uh, stopping prayer so that he can find some remedy as soon as possible because the sharp pain was so excruciating and nothing to joke about it at all. Suddenly the word of the Lord came for him and immediately the pain disappeared as God's servant, the senior pastor, Dr. Pastor Paul Enencher decreed. The miracle was instant and accurate and frightening and he was very surprised because um, he used to think that God doesn't answer prayers immediately, but this miracle shocked him himself. He's never prayed like that since he joined the Commanding the Day Midnight Prayer, and he wants to return all the glory to God. Amen. Declaration video attached. Oh Lord, that one-sided, right-sided headache that is afflicting you now in the midst of this prayer. I retrieve it and I refer it back to hell. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. that demonic migraine right side of the face is over right now. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. That's quite amazing. Immediately Amen. while the prayer was on, praise the Lord. Let's take a look at um, one more testimony. Sister Tess from Makodi says, Above only, that is my place. Greetings to the Commanding the Day crew. She wants to return the glory to God for the miracle upon her life. She joined this altar this year, February, fully. On the 25th of February, she made up her mind that she'll be more committed. She joined in 15 minutes into the prayer. Listening to the testimonies, she asked the Lord to please send her word. She wasn't specific because she had so many things on her mind. After the declarations, pastor declared that someone's lower big molar is healed. Another on the right is healed right now. She screamed. She jumped. She shouted. She said, it's her. She placed her hand on her left chin and began to pray in the Holy Ghost. Prior to that, she had a cavity on her left lower molar tooth, which became a problem to her last year. When this tooth starts aching, the pain is so severe that she can't do anything. She can't go to school. She can't even speak. Her whole face will be swollen and it spreads to the whole teeth in the mouth. Her head bangs, her neck, her shoulders down to her arms ache. She cries like a baby. She couldn't eat, but if she must, she'd carefully chew with the right side. Avoid food particles entering the right tooth, which at some point got inflamed due to too much pressure. She used a lot of remedies and painkillers. She was even advised multiple times to extract it. But then she couldn't even afford money to go to the hospital. Talk more of removing or filling it. Oh dear. When the word came that day, she was so happy that after the prayer, she had palm kernel in the house. She chewed it using her left side. Yay! Palm kernel, Gabadaya. Gabadaya. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow. She chewed it using her left side, something she couldn't try on a normal day. She was waiting for sensations. None. She said, okay, maybe by 4 a.m. when it has fermented in the tooth cavity, it will start aching. But no way. Next day, no pain. Ah! Oh, la, 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 la. The Lord has done it. It's over a week now. No tingling sensations. No pain. It has returned return to hell forever not to return and a confirmation of the word came today again the senior pastor declared pain in the tooth is healed she's coming back with more testimonies hallelujah amen and i believe that somebody else wherever you're watching is being healed of a tooth condition right now in the name of jesus christ let's watch the declaration of that and then we'll celebrate the lord somebody's lower big molar on the on the left is healed another on the right is healed right now give the lord a praise celebration when the mighty god if they give me joy to the give you praise oh you 
sisters wake your loved ones it's a new season we are thanking the lord for frustrating enemy agenda in our lives all the time proverbs chapter 19 and in verse 21 he says there are many devices in the man's heart nevertheless the counsel of the lord that shall stand there are many devices in the man's heart nevertheless the counsel of the lord that shall stand Amen. lift your voice and say father father Thank you, Thank you for your love, for your love and, mercy. and mercy. Thank you, Lord, Thank you, Lord for, continuously. for continuously. Foiling, Foiling the, agenda the agenda of the enemy, of the enemy for, your for your people. Be glorified, glorified. oh Lord, oh, Lord. In the, name of, in the name of Jesus. Again, say, Father, Father thank, you thank you for your love, for your love and, mercy. and mercy. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord for continuously, for continually, continually foiling, foiling the agenda, the agenda of, the enemy, of the enemy for your people, for, your people, for my life. For my be, life. Glorified, be glorified, oh Lord, oh, Lord. in the name of in Jesus. Name Go of on Jesus. ahead and speak to God. <laughs> In Jesus' precious name, Amen. we are awed by the speed with which God is doing the thing that he speaks with accuracy. We want to give him the praise and the honor because the Bible said in Psalm 33 and in verse 9, he said, for he spake and it was done. He commanded and it was fast. He stood fast. He commanded. It happened very fast. In Isaiah chapter 48 and in verse 3, the Bible said, I have declared the former things from the beginning and they went forth out of my mouth. I showed them and I did them suddenly and they came to pass. Amen. Yours will come to pass suddenly. Amen. Now I am talking to people right here. When your declaration came, it was very accurate. You even recorded it ahead of the testimony. But you are wondering, why has mine not happened? I am announcing to you right now, in 24 hours, you have a testimony. Amen. Another person in 48 hours, you have a testimony. Amen. Another person under 72 hours, you have a testimony. Highest one week, your testimony is in your hands. Amen. Now, see after me, say, Father, Father thank, you thank you for the precision, for the precision and, accuracy and accuracy of your declaration, of your declaration on, this on this altar, as well as, well as, as the instantaneous instantaneousness of your manifestations in diverse ways be glorified oh lord in the name of jesus say father thank you for the precision and accuracy of your declarations on this altar as well as the instantaneousness of your manifestations in diverse ways be glorified lord in the name of jesus open your mouth and pray I'm 
In Jesus' precious name. Amen. The Lord bless his word in Jesus' name. Amen. Proverbs chapter 14 and in verse 19. He said, The evil bow before the good. Hallelujah. And the wicked at the gate of the righteous. Again, the evil bow before the good. Amen. And the wicked at the gate of the righteous. Amen. Tonight I prophesy, the evil shall bow before you today. Amen. And the wicked shall bow at your gate. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father we, take we take authority over evil, every agenda over of, evil of evil and wickedness, and wickedness. from hell, from hell to, counteract to counteract, antagonize, antagonize undermine, undermine, and confront, and confront your acts in our midst. We command them we to command them. bow. Now, now, in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. say, Father, Father, we take authority, we take authority over every agenda over of every evil and wickedness wicked from hell, hell to counteract, antagonize, antagonize undermine, undermine, and confront, confront your ass in our midst. We command them to bow now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus precious name amen. Somebody shout the Lord and say amen. amen Somebody shout the Lord and say amen, amen. Somebody shout the Lord and say amen. amen Psalm 42 and in verse 1 all right, before them, Proverbs 28 and in verse 1. Maho Shatakala. The wicked flee when no man pursues, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. Somebody is stepping out with lionic authority today. Amen. Proverbs 30 30. What happened? The lion, which is the strongest among the beasts, is turned not away for anything. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father I, step into I step into this new day, this new day with, the with the authority of the lion, of the, lion, of the tribe, of, the tribe of, Judah, of Judah, and I command, I command all negative forces, all negative forces of, the day, of the day to bow, to bow oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Father, Father, I step, I step into this new day, this new day with the authority, with the authority of, the lion, of the lion, of the tribe of, the tribe of, Judah, of Judah, and I command, I command all negative forces, all negative forces of the day to bow, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Jesus, precious name. Amen. Somebody shout the loudest amen. amen. Somebody shout amen at the top of your voice. Psalm 42 and in verse 1. Psalm 42 and in verse 1. As the heart panted. All right, keep going. As the heart pants after the water brooks, so panted my soul after thee, O God. Keep going. My soul thirsted for God, for the living God. When shall I be? Come and appear before God. 
My tears have been my media. Now I go to verse 7. Deep collect unto the deep, and the noise of thy water spout. All thy waves and thy billows are gone over me. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father I, declare I declare this new day, this new day my, day my day of divine, of divine uplift, uplift and judgment, and judgment for, the for the adversary. I shall not, I shall not be, grounded, be grounded, and the adversary, and the adversary shall, not shall not escape the due judgment, the due judgment, the due judgment, the due judgment, due judgment today, Lord, today, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Jesus name. Amen. That will be actually Isaiah chapter 42 verse 1. Let's read, read that again. Isaiah 42. Behold my servant whom I uphold. Mine elect. In whom my soul delighteth. I have put my spirit upon him. And he shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. That is, I will lift you up. I will uphold you. Uplift you. And then use you to judge the enemy Amen. and his agents. Take that prayer again and say, Father, Father I, declare I declare this new day, this new day as, my day as my day of divine, of divine uplift, uplift and judgment, and judgment for, the for the adversary. I shall not be grounded, not be grounded. and the adversary not shall not escape their due judgment, judgment today, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and open your mouth and pray. Jesus precious name. Amen. The Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. Acts chapter 17, verse 25. The Bible said, Neither is worship with men's hands as though he is need anything. Seeing he giveth to all life and breath and all things. John chapter 10, verse 10. The thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and they might have it more abundantly. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father I take full delivery, I take full delivery of, all of all that you have, you have in store, in store for, me, for me for quality life, for quality life and fulfilling and destiny, fulfilling destiny. destiny. Today. today. Oh Lord, oh Lord in, the in the name of Jesus, I take full delivery, take full delivery of all that you have, that you have in store for me, for, me. For, quality for quality life, life and, a and a fulfilling destiny and a fulfilled destiny. Today, Today, oh Lord, oh Lord in the name of Jesus, Lord, open your mouth and pray.
Jesus precious name. Shout the Lord and say amen. Jeremiah 33 and in verse 3, he said, Call unto me and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knewest not. God will show you something tonight. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father I, ask I ask that the prayers, that the prayers offered, offered on this altar, on, this altar, on, the, basis on the basis of your word, of your word will attract, will attract drastic, drastic manifestations, manifestations interventions, interventions, and revelation, and revelation in, the in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, Father I, ask I ask that the prayers, that the prayers offered, offered on this altar, on, this altar, on the basis of, the of your word, of your word will, attract will attract drastic, drastic manifestations, manifestations interventions, interventions, and revelations, and revelations in the name of Jesus. Go on ahead and open your mouth up. Here. In the name of Jesus, the Lord has said and answered us in Jesus' name. I'd like you to wake somebody up at this time as we proceed and press further. We are about to deal with forces of hell. Psalm 5 and in verse 4, Psalm 5, for thou art not a God that has pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. So everywhere Jehovah sees evil, he cuts it off. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father we, ask we ask that you will dissipate, you will dissipate the, wicked the wicked and their agenda, and, the agenda and, of evil and of evil and wickedness, and wickedness in this new day. O oh Lord, oh Lord, in the name of, in the name of Jesus, Jesus, Father, we ask Father, we that ask you will dissipate, you will dissolve, you will, dissolve, you will evaporate the wicked the and the agenda and the of, evil of evil and wickedness, and wickedness in this new day. O oh Lord, oh Lord, in the name of, in Jesus. of Jesus, go on ahead and speak to God. Jesus precious name. One more time, take that prayer again. Say after me, say, Father, Father we, ask we ask that you will displace, you displace, 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 displace the wicked, the wicked and, their and their agenda of evil, of evil and, wickedness and wickedness in this new day. This oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father we, ask we ask that you will displace, you will displace the, wicked the wicked and the agenda of evil, of evil and wickedness and wicked in this new day. This new day. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of in Jesus. Name of Go on ahead and speak to God.
name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 105 and in verse 32, Psalm 105, verse 32. He gave them hail for rain and a flaming fire in their land. Today, we are going to release fire on every altar that is releasing strange diseases, sudden death, calamity, catastrophe, disaster, crash of destiny. We declare them set on fire. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Father, fire. we ask, we ask for, the for the release of the fire of, the fire of, your, judgment of your judgment against, against every, altar, every altar, releasing arrows, releasing arrows of strange diseases, of strange diseases sudden premature sudden death, premature sudden death, calamity, calamity, calamity disaster, disaster or, crash or crash of destiny. Of destiny. Say, Father, Father we, ask we ask for the release, for the release of your fire of judgment against every altar, releasing arrows of strange diseases, sudden premature death, sudden calamity, disaster, or crash of destiny. I decree, we decree this altar and personalities set on fire, and every victim of such altars be set free now in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Jesus, precious name. Amen. The Lord heard us and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. Genesis 1, 28, the Bible said, And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Fruitfulness is a command, is a mandate. A mandate that must be complied with in a hurry. So everyone that is called barren tonight marks the end of it. Amen. And everyone that is fruitless in the works of their hand tonight is the end of it. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father I, reject I reject the spell, the spell of, delay of delay today, today in, fruitfulness in fruitfulness as I pro proceed, as I proceed to, fulfill to fulfill my creation, my creation mandate, mandate, mandate of fruitfulness. Of fruitfulness. Oh Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Say, Father, Father I, reject I reject every spell, every spell of, delay of delay today, today in, fruitfulness in fruitfulness as I proceed, as I proceed to, fulfill to fulfill my creation, my creation mandate, mandate of fruitfulness. Of fruitfulness. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Go on ahead, open your mouth and speak. Jesus precious name. Amen. John chapter 12 and in verse 32 he said, and I if I be lifted up from the earth will draw all men unto me. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father we, ask we ask that you will lift up, you lift your, up son Jesus your son Jesus among us, among among us. us. 
you will lift him up in the air from among us and draw all men to yourself in this season. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, we ask that you lift up your son Jesus among us and draw all men to yourself in this season. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh, pray, I'm out of prayer. shall it be. Amen. You believe that God has heard and answered us, shall the Lord say amen. amen. Give the Lord a big clap and a large shout of praise and let us celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. One, two, go. Go, 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 go. a big clap and a lot of shout of praise. Please be seated in the presence of the Lord. Wake somebody up. Wake your friends. Wake your loved ones. Wake your family members and let us proceed into the testimonies tonight before we go into personal supplication. So let's proceed. Sister Joy from Abuja said above only that is my place. Greetings, my fellow commanding the day midnight prayer members. I want to return all the glory to God for this great commission for remembering my case. I've been following the prayer since last year and I've been trusting God for divine visitation and intervention in my life. Sometimes I dream and see myself with dead people. I also see myself in places I have lived before. It has affected my life. Sometimes I even ask myself if I am cursed because nothing seems to be working for me. Even my business is not going on well. But on the 29th of February 2024 slash 1st of March 2024 during the declarations the man of God mentioned my case. He said and I quote the glory of God is the meaning of your name in your dialect but the devil has confronted you with no glory such that you have become a shadow of yourself. Brethren I shouted he loud him and because I know God has finally remembered me. My name is Ujima Gocho, meaning the glory of God. Sir, senior pastor immediately continued the declaration by saying, anyone who has a name that is opposite their name, joy that is swallowed up in sorrow. Wow! Mentioned twice. I take authority over this, that spell and it is broken. Two liberations in one night for me. My name is also joy. And what senior pastor made mention of is exactly what I'm going through. 
gives a confirmation that my set time of divine intervention and turnaround has come. Now I shall return back to the testimony to the glory of God. It is done in Jesus' name. Give the Lord a praise. Two visitations in one night. Declaration. In vernacular, the language where you are. The glory of God is the meaning of your name. In vernacular, the language where you are. And the glory of God, that's the meaning of the name. The phrase of that name. But the devil has confronted you with no glory at all. Become a shadow of yourself. I take authority over that masquerade spirit that is fighting your destiny and sensual curses. I set them on fire in the name of Jesus. And everybody who has a name that is opposite of your name, your name is success, but you are, fight, you are fighting failure. Your name is favor, but rejection has been your, your portion all this while. Your name is happiness with no happiness at all. Joy that is by, uh, swallowed up in sorrow. I take authority over, over that spell. It is broken in the name of Jesus. And from this moment forward, you will begin to experience Give the Lord a bit beyond what that name means. Joy is returning back with full second part of the testimony. Let's go. Sister C from the UK, good morning. Command the day, family. Above only is our place in Jesus' name. Here are my testimonies. First, I want to thank God for the life of my cousin. On the 15th of January, she came to support me with child care. And at the first glance, I knew something wasn't right with her. It turned out she was very unwell and only came around to help her. She didn't want to disappoint me. She told me the symptoms suggested gastritis. However, she was going to do further tests. She was particularly concerned that she, that she had lost a loved one to similar symptoms, which was in, initially misdiagnosed as gastritis. Oh, To the glory of God, that very night her word came. God's servant gave a word concerning gastritis, gastric ulcer, etc. I keyed into these for her. And send her the link. To the glory of God, my cousin is doing amazing now. Praise God. Secondly, I want to thank God for granting me a safe delivery. I had a fairly smooth pregnancy. However, towards the end, just before Christmas, I had a scan that revealed my baby was breached and also oversized. My husband and I keyed into the testimony of a couple that God reversed the position of their baby. And to the glory of God, when I returned for a follow-up scan, the baby's position has corrected and the baby was head down. That didn't stop the devil from trying though. I was booked for an induction. However, I ended up having to go to the hospital earlier than the induction date due to reduced fetal movements. I wasn't even bothered because I knew God wouldn't let me come that far to return empty-handed. For some reasons, the recommended scan by the doctor that booked me in was cancelled by the consultant. And so the current size of the baby was unknown. While in the hospital, I kept playing Sister Debbie's ministration during the worship night in January on repeat. Dilation happened really quickly. But when it was time to push people of God, it became a battle. I pushed my previous baby out within minutes. But this one, even after an hour, the baby's head was still popping out and going back in. I was tired and ready to pass out. And I remembered the words of Sister Debbie's song, When I'm running out of breath, I know that you will breathe on me. You are my life. I started singing it with the last train I had. The next thing I heard was amid my screaming, code red, code red. An emergency button was pressed, which sounded an alarm. And without exaggeration, numerous medical professionals entered the room. I heard people screaming, stop the bleeding. People of God, I saw, I looked down and I saw two professionals with their hands inside me trying to stop the bleeding i was bleeding profusely my baby had been better but did not cry they were trying to resuscitate the baby somehow in the midst of this chaos i still had peace proud to my delivery my husband kept saying he felt we should really pray about the delivery more than normal and we did we especially took the commanded day prayer seriously we were confident god had already gone ahead of us my baby eventually cried and they were able to control the bleeding. To the glory of God and utter shame of the devil. My baby and I are alive well and thriving. We do not look like what we've been through. God is too good and too real. Thank you Jesus. I can only imagine how much sacrifice it takes. To keep this command in the day. Going every single day. A big God bless you. Congratulations sister. From the United Kingdom. You shall not labor in vain 
and you shall not bring forth for trouble. Somebody give the Lord the praise. Hallelujah. Sister HMO from the United Kingdom, above only greetings to you all. I have to rush in to share this testimony before it gets late. I had a long day yesterday, but I joined the command the day, midnight prayer, and slept off after prayer six. I woke up this morning <laughs> and decided to watch the rebroadcast. Little did I know that the Lord had come with my word. During the drastic declarations, Pastor Paul and Angel said, I see a May 5th birthday and a May 17th. I see a visitation happening to your life and I see the verdict of the enemy cancelled. I was too overwhelmed to shout, my birthday is May 5th and my husband is May 17th. I, 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 I've been joining this platform since January 2024 and asking God for his intervention. This is a proof to me that God has been hearing me on this altar and the dam of his blessing and release about to burst forth of us. May the Lord bless this command the day. May my prayer work and strengthen you and the whole team all the way. I will be back to declare his test the goodness. God be praised. That's right. Somebody give the Lord a praise. No one that should say let her share become before it becomes too late. Let's go. Go. And it looked like the people are connected, whether it's the husband and the wife, or brother and sister, or mother and child, or parent and child. But May 5th and May 17th, led to Freta Kazagala, they are connected. And I see a visitation happening to your life, led to Freena Galata Kazagira. And I see the verdict of the enemy cancelled. And I see a recurrent pattern of Satan in your life and in your family broken right now in the name of hey! Jesus. And See visitation even before these birthdays arrive. Jehovah God will turn around your situation. When the Lord turn again the captivity of Zion, we are like them that dream. I am prophesying to somebody here tonight. Every recurrent pattern in your house, in your father's house, in your family. You see it in yourself, you see it in your family. I declare the pattern is broken. Somebody give the Lord a turn around shout of hallelujah. You believe the Lord shall turn again your captivity. Give him a shout of praise. And you will be here with your testimony. In the name of Jesus. Will you do that turn around again? Will you do that, do that turn around again? Because in this turn around, somebody just stepped into his own birthday on the 8th. 8th. 8th of March. La Parete Kida Galata Kazadara. Receive now your visitation. In the name of Jesus Christ, the ye e starts with that name of that person who is just trusting the Lord. Congratulations and go forth in Jesus' name. Take your seat in the presence of the Lord. And now, Sanoje Pamela from Burkina Faso. Wow. Good evening to all the commanded in our prayer team. I come to give thanks to God for this prayer and these moments of meeting with God of this great commission. I'm a pastor's wife and these prayers have improved my prayer life and strengthened my intimacy with Jesus Christ. God bless you for your obedience to the Holy Spirit. One day my husband came home angrily and started reproaching me all kinds of things. That day I couldn't contain myself. Having passed a very hard day, I answered him back. The next day it was the same thing. And for a few days I felt tired of this union. Having accumulated a lot of misunderstandings. And I was planning to leave for a while. Because the atmosphere at home was not favorable. And we were arguing in front of our children. Six years old and 17 months old baby. As usual, I connected to the prayer being disoriented one evening in February. And bam! Pastor Paul and Nature declared that he annihilated all anti-marital spells and pronounced my name, Pamela. Surprisingly, I shouted amen because in my family, my parents are divorced. I, my grandparents on my father's and mother's side were divorced. My older sister, the first in the family, has just divorced. I understood that God had just saved my home. The next day, my husband came home asking him to prepare myself and the kids to go out and do some shopping. Hey, 
I was speechless. Afterwards, our relationship was restored. And today we are reconciled. I thank God for his mercy. Amen. All the way from Burkina Faso. Is somebody just sitting and looking like that? She was at the verge of leaving the home. Let's hear the declaration. Take your seat. Will burn off anti-marital spell. Father's house altar. That is fighting marital destiny. I break that yoke from the life of Pamela. In the name that is above every name. Father's house altar that is fighting destinies and fighting marriages. That is making marriages not a war. Hey, get married, give birth to children, and the marriage ends. Hey, I now decree today that altar is set on fire. Are you just sitting and looking like that, somebody? Hey, 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 hey. The word of the Lord went to Burkina Faso, break broken ancestral curse, and set, set a pastor's wife free from anti-marital spell. I am here to announce to somebody here, every altar from your father's house that is fighting your destiny, the altar is broken now. Go ahead and let us celebrate. Go, go, go. Wow. Ah, yeah. This guy God has not the one to do. Ah, 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 yeah. hey, this guy God has not the one And the Lord of Lord, I pray. What a mighty, mighty, mighty God. Go ahead, take 30 seconds in personal applications and then proceed forward and let us, all right, 30 seconds in appreciation and then proceed in personal supplications, whatever is on your mind. Go ahead and speak to God. In the name of Jesus, the Lord has heard and the Lord has answered in Jesus' precious name. Please be upstanding, ladies and young men and people, trust him for marital destinies, whatever you have as a point of contact. Lift them up before God 
and let us appreciate him. Lift your two hands high. Father, I pray for everyone tonight that is trusting you for marital settlement. Set trusting you for fruitfulness. Marital settlement. I declare the yoke is broken. And for women trusting God for fruit of the womb, I declare today 
every factor that has been responsible for fruitfulness, fruitlessness, parents, ancestral curse, generational curse, anti-marital spell, spirit husband, spirit wife, hormonal imbalance, polycystic ovary syndrome, hyperprolactinemia, uterine fibroid, endometriosis, endometritis, every form of low sperm count, Hostile cervix. Blocked fallopian tubes. Whatever is responsible for delay in your life, I declare it is over in the name of Jesus. According to the time of life. Your children are in your hands, your twins, your triplets, your quadruplets, and as many as you desire. And I prophesy to you today, you walk into the laboratory today. In fact, you do your pregnancy test at home right now. I declare it positive. You walk into the laboratory and you confirm it positive in the daytime. Within the next seven days, I declare the explosion of pregnancy test positive happening everywhere in the name of Jesus. I take authority over hypergravidarum. Excessive pregnancy symptoms. I don't know why I have to mention that now. Maybe that is what, what you, are, you are passing through right now. After years of trusting God for a child. And then you are vomiting and spitting and all manner uncontrollably. Today I declare it arrested in the name of Jesus. Any other mystery that is behind barrenness overnight tonight, I declare, it shall be revealed and unveiled and shall be dissolved in the name of Jesus. Father's house pattern is broken. Believe that, say loud, amen. I take authority over the dead spirit. Seeing two to three dead relations in one night. In that last 24 hours, three at once, two at once, in one dream, I declare today, every spirit of death looking for somebody in your father's house, that spirit of death is arrested and sent back to hell. You are saying amen, say louder, amen. Every grave they have dug for anybody in your father's house, I declare that grave is covered by those who dug it. Every coffin prepared for anybody related, connected, associated with you, that coffin is set on fire in the name of Jesus. That around the chest is retrieved and refired back to hell. That deafness and blocking of the ears, I command the ears pop open right now. The inguinous crotal hymea, on the right hand side, I declare it arrested and healed now. A cause power Atavia Gazananticho or Clafandi Tratikagua La Fratanana is a recurrent hyena. They have operated it before and it's returned back. Tonight I declare it has disappeared in the name of Jesus. Somebody is two sided, one is, is done, but the other side appeared. I declare it is gone tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. You dropped out of the university around the third year and you've been finding it hard that the reproach is on you. The devil say you will never, you will never, you, you should just forget about school. You have been a victim of depression, a victim of low self-esteem, inferiority complex. You are not a dull person. You are an intelligent person, but the devil wants to waste you and render you incompetent. I announce to you today that break the devil placed on your life is retrieved right now in the name of Jesus. In the num in a number of days the miracle will happen things will turn around and you will realize an opening that will allow you to complete what you started in the name of jesus father thank you are on the left hand side of the chest it has to do with heart condition is retrieved in jesus precious name somebody say a, a louder amen 
I see the name of a place that has U R U at the end, like Uru at the end. So the beginning is also a U. So it's like a U. Whether I say U H U R E or U H U R U or U T U R U. Wherever my hostelier Fretano Agalaya Tassiti Kakala Lalos Torotosida, Jeco la Keparata Sata Kakala, Leto Frata Kakala, Leto Fratoka Kasun, where I'd like a U Turu or U Huru, something. It's that you, you begins and then you are you at the end. La Shadaga, I take authority over that demonic force that is a monitoring spirit that has been after your life you feel a demonic monitoring you feel a presence you feel a monitoring because before you do things it is already it's as if somebody was waiting and the devil keeps foiling your breakthroughs and foiling your expectations i announce today that monitoring altar is set on fire in the name of jesus in your next journey your next business your next expectation no power the power monitoring is arrested is filled whether you are located in that place right now or you are from the place mentioned with the monitoring devil monitoring your life the tenure of that devil is arrested hey 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 and, and, and everyone that is connected to this altar every monitoring spirit every monitoring mirror every monitoring gadget every monitoring altar that they used to monitor your life and interfere and interrupt with your breakthroughs. I declare the altar set on fire. I declare that altar set on fire. The equipment is set on fire. The gadget is set on fire. If you say amen, say loud amen. And one person is that monitoring devil is a short devil, a short demon. You have seen it before. Demon very short. And one of the times you see that devil with your possession, with your resources, with your things. Today, that devil is forced. Every devil, every personality, entity, holding what is yours, they are forced to release them now in the name of Jesus. Every devil that is in possession of your money, your resources, your certificates, your documents, they are releasing them right now. You will see the sign overnight. You will see the sign of your release and the physical sign in the in the, in the, or under the period of five days within that period. The physical sign of the release of your things. I see an explosion in businesses. I see an explosion in financial explosion where the devil has been holding what is yours. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Queen Elizabeth. Is the name of the school where you attended secondary? Leo Safita Kalanazgi, Donko Apala Ferrato Senacola Tirita Luste, Leto Well Known School, Jacola Ferrata Casana Nakala, and the devil has put your life under 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 a threat, under a terror, the terror of affliction, of affliction like a terminal disease, like a parata casacola tinagala, let a fretasa, like a cancer, jacolaba, and you and you see someone that like is like a friend or a relation, someone that is connected to you died of the same cancer. Jalaga, and the devil is threatening you now that you are going to go. I'm anointed to announce to you, you shall not die, you shall fulfill your days. The spirit of death is arrested and I stand here with brutality against every dead spirit, everyone with a diagnosis of cancer, whatever cancer it is, little brain tumor, brain cancers, ovarian cancer, uterine cancer, breast cancer, hepatocellular cancer, cholangiocellular cancer, primary liver cell cancer, every pancreatic cancer, little paradigala, hosarada, kaposi sarcoma, every 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 bone bone cancer and cancer of the soft tissue i'm talking to somebody here now i stand by uh, mahashala i stand by the anointing of the holy ghost that evil life of cancer that death spirit of cancer i curse you get out in the name of jesus i introduce the fire of the holy ghost the life of god to roast it to burn it off 
in the name of Jesus. I declare instant healing. The pain disappears immediately. The, the growth disappears immediately. You wake, you sleep overnight and wake up in the morning. And it is confirmed that it is disappeared to hell. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That dark shadow is cast, cast back to hell. In the name of Jesus. And anybody who sent it to you, it returns back to sender. You shall fulfill your day. Father, thank you. You shall fulfill your destiny. You shall fulfill your destiny. Can you say louder, amen? You shall fulfill your destiny. I am speaking to somebody whose name is actually destiny. Leto Fretaka Kazalala, that has a surname of a Z, like a two Z inside the name. Leko Parata Sinadush, Lot But here it is what he said to one, he says to all. So receive it. You shall fulfill your destiny. Your destiny shall not be aborted, it shall not be cut short. La Shate Ferrete Sidi, Lique Pedelo Hasanira, Rata Sika Lita. You shall not miss your target in life you shall not miss your target on it you shall not be derailed you shall not be distracted and you shall not be destroyed somebody say loud amen somebody say loud amen you saw yourself talking to somebody in the dream of the night they were they were killing themselves not you with a knife how can you watch such a horrible thing and you woke up and you know your life is not the same anymore and the devil is telling you they already killed you in the dream you're about it's just a matter of days you have to go and the shadow of death is all around you i take authority Mashallah, every everywhere that attack came from, I declare returns back to hell. That shadow of the fear of death and the spirit of death and that feeling in your system, that death feeling, I arrest it and send it back to hell. Fire! The power of God is coming on you where you are now. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The same person has had something with a cat when I say cat attack as well in the dream. It's witchcraft. And I say that witchcraft shall not succeed. I announce to everybody here connected tonight, every witchcraft altar, household wickedness, people in your father's house, in your family that made themselves witches, their days are numbered. If they will leave you alone, they are cut short and hurried out of the land of the living. You believe that shall the Lord say that. And one, they are, they are trying to initiate you. Trying to initiate you. Initiate you with meat in the dream, raw meat like red, like just raw. You wake up and say, what you will not do in the physical and, and, and everything is trying to change around your life. Today is arrested. It is arrested. That initiation is arrested. You are see, beginning to see yourself do things you don't understand. Taking, taking off in the dream, flying and all those kind of things. Your thoughts are becoming very dangerous and harmful. Even to your loved ones. I'm talking to a woman. You beat your child in the dream and you, and, you, and, and you wake up in the morning and the child is sick. You weep your child in the dream and in the physical. I'm talking to you. You see the bags on the body and the child is afflicted. You are innocent. How can I do that to my child? Your grandmother was a witch. You grew up with her. And oh my heart galaya and consciously, unconsciously, this was imparted into your life. Tonight I announce today, last Tana Galete I I announce today that power of initiation from your childhood is broken right now. I declare your deliverance is here. Hey, 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 hey. Your deliverance is here. Your deliverance is here. Your liberty is here. Your freedom is here. Everything that connects you with that witchcraft altar, it is cut off. 
I now pray for you that they are using your face to attack people in the dream. You know nothing about it, but they are using your face. Tonight I declare, the real person that is attacking people, his face shall be uncovered. Even yourself will see the person tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you, man. Let the Let the Give the Lord a praise. Give him the praise. Something is happening. Something is happening. Something is exploding. The earth is being filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Witchcraft made you to lose your job, to lose money. Oh, managa. I announce today your restoration is here. And that witchcraft thought I set on fire. I told Dr. Mrs. And then the other day, I said, the way the things are coming, it's like we can stay all night, but we need to go. Lift your hands, and tomorrow you return back. It is called destiny opening. And we are going to we are going to pray specially for children. Every child, if they have to doze in front of the television, let them doze. Just link them. And all your children, anywhere they are outside the country, send them the links. The opening of destiny. Who, whoever closed up your life, that whoever, what God wants you to be, you shouldn't be. The key of it shall be opened and you shall fulfill your destiny. It was a baraki to Somalia. Lenia tenzen vuhu kwa tati ni malatari. La kokarote suke la fima rakula guste. Jekote lifina katizo malotaro. Jorandes feritina kalatarina kokasto. Joratas kefino kalitra nikalala. Jatorata la 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 Don't be in doubt. They said you have, that you will never give birth to a child. And uh, no, 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 you, with the declaration that was made, you are still wondering, but my case is so hopeless. The uh, tubes are tight. Oh, and I don't know why they tied the tubes. Fallopian tube is removed on one side, and then and then the fibroid occupies the womb on the other side. All manner of complicated things. Ectopic pregnancy before, and so on. And you are saying, is it possible? Yes, it is possible. In the name of Jesus, I speak to so many of the people in this category, but a Tina is in this category that God is speaking to. In the name that is above every name I command the fear is gone and if God needs to recreate your system he is recreating it right now even overnight many of the women trusting over the front of the womb you will see surgeries perform on, perform on your system and you're going to break for thus far the devil has gone eight years and, and no child it is over 12 years no child it is over 70 years whatever be your number of years 27 years it is over. Congratulations. Go forth. Check yourself. You return with your testimony. Hallelujah. Somebody give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. Listen to this. Anywhere you are tonight, watching, and you are in need of surrender to Jesus, pray this prayer after me and say, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner in need of your help. Come into my life and make me a new person. Today I have decided to follow you, Lord. No turning back forward ever backward never thank you lord in jesus name amen let's hear from you and let's know that you prayed this prayer god bless you stretch your hands in front of you i prophesy upon your hands i declare your harvest shall look for you from the north the south the east and the west so shall it be in jesus precious name go ahead and honor god with what you have details on the screen i'll talk about a giving tomorrow evening on that destiny opening night and then we'll take it forward from there somebody say amen somebody say hallelujah tomorrow come with communion points of contact as well as we talk about the opening of destinies tomorrow night hallelujah god bless you and keep you cause his face to shine upon you kaduna get set london england get set there's an opening up again for more of the um, sitting capacity so that those who have not yet um, registered and ticketed can get that done urgently. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout, I am blessed. 2024, 
now they, they, they have a, uh, a QR code on the screen that you can you can you can just scan to, to, to volunteer and to be part of it and those who attended the leads program please if you know of any of them let them know that they have to be here in this follow-up program somebody say aloud amen 2024 and above only where is your place and above only give the Lord a shout of praise celebration celebration oh oh Oh, 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 oh,